absolutely. I don't think you ever apologize for a win, regardless of when it comes in the season or who it's against. I think it's, I've said it before, you guys have heard me say it many times, it's hard to win this league regardless. And so anytime you get a W, you're, you're happy about it. Is there things to work on? Absolutely. That's something to work on every single week. But we want to, we, we said our, at the beginning of the week, we wanted to get better this week. I feel like we did during practice. I think we had a hell of a week of practice competing against one another. And out here, you do get better by playing games and uh, and winning them. So we'll go back. We'll, we'll look at the tape. We're all, we know who our opponent is next week. We know we're going to play him again. We'll just look to improve uh, and get better and go out for a good week of practice. That'll be the focus. You had a few backups having meaningful reps in this game. Davis Alexander, for one. And we came up big, too, in the yes. fourth quarter. What can you say? about, the, about the, the performance of maybe guys we don't see as often. Yeah, I mean, I, I think what you know our team's built on is competing, and we, we work hard. And I, I keep saying that to you guys, and you guys see a result like that from a player, but you don't ever see the work he puts in through 18 weeks uh, on practice fields. And they're all prepared. These guys are all professionals. They're just waiting for an opportunity. And the way we're built is, we, we've said it before, we don't have starters. We don't look at them that way. We look at as we have guys that are on the 45-man roster and guys that are waiting in the wings, in the hangar, as we call it. And a guy like Davis, a guy like Antwin, who even plays every week, it just doesn't get as many carries as the starter. You know, we, we never hesitate when he's in there. We, we believe he, he'll be successful because of the amount of work he puts in preparation-wise, how hard he practices, how hard he competes against our guys each and every week. And a guy like Davis, too, I mean, hasn't played a whole lot of football for 18 weeks but you get a, a, a pressure spot you know we get a return go for a two-point conversion and he's lights out with a throw first throw of the game and first throw in a lot of time for meaning meaningful a meaningful rep and he did it like he'd been doing it all year Jason sorry if you were asked this already but so much of this league and this game is based on momentum so you're going into the playoffs with five wins in a row um, how do you feel how do you feel about your where your team is well I mean I've always said it, you couldn't tell our, by our demeanor in practice, in meetings, the way we approach the week, whether we're on a streak of winning or a streak of losing. So the way we come to work every every day is what I've been proud of this group. Um, you know, and, and to go in hot, I mean, I know the history of the CFL, I've been in long enough to know that the hot teams generally have success, but you don't have success by focusing on that. You, you focus on everyday tasks and our our everyday task will be Tuesday you know coming back to work and getting back to work and competing against one another once again you know knowing our opponent extremely well and, and trying to really uh, dive into the mental stuff this week and physically be prepared to play them again and beat them again I mean but we're not going to focus on an outcome we're going to focus more on us getting back to work and I think that's what takes care of those streaks whether they're in your favor or against you that's that's why I think our team's been able to do that this year. How about Cote? It was two for four. If the game next week comes down to a kick, why are you? Yeah, confident? I'm confident every time he steps on the field. I mean, uh, you know, obviously the, the, the wind was a little bit of a factor today, and we pushed his comfort level, uh, I know, on the last kick for sure, and he kicked it well. And I know he, he felt good about the kick. It just didn't go in. So uh, I'll be just as confident next week calling his number as I, I've been all season. So I know the work he's put in. I know the work he'll put in this week. He'll be ready and prepared, and, you know, we'll expect great results from him. Do you believe in the mental advantage or stuff like that to be 3-0 and against Hamilton and the importance to win this game to uh, to keep this mental advantage against I mean, I, I think you know, I think football is a in some ways sports is mental but, uh, you know, there's a lot of physical uh, that goes into that as well so, um, you know, I, I, I again, those are Those are awareness points or those are things that are out of your control. I think you just focus on every day and focus on getting better and not worry about the fact that we beat them three times this year. I mean, that, that just not have no bearing, in my opinion, on this next one. You know, uh, I just don't I don't think that way. I, I, we're more focused on ourselves, more focused on working than, say, than re, I guess, relying on the fact that we beat them three times, if that makes sense, where we don't, you know, just because you're beating someone, if you don't put the work in and you don't do the things that are necessary to win, which is, you know, control the things we can control each and every week and play hard every single play I mean uh, you know we're expecting results because of the way we pre prepare and the way we practice and the way we do things that's why we expect results but that's not what our focus is on it's just focused on getting better that's it. yeah I think uh, I'll get the medical report tomorrow I know that's there's some some guys that are going to be on it um, and they're going to do everything we're going to do everything they're going to do everything to be ready for next week but uh, you 
you know, uh, I, I haven't seen the last medical report. I just heard what was, what was said during the game, but I think Stubbs was okay the last I heard. What about the stage? It might be a big loss. Yeah, he'll be a question mark. Obviously, he didn't finish the game, so any guy that didn't finish, you know, those are question marks that we got to figure out um, this week, and hopefully tomorrow we'll have more answers. But uh, they got a, they got one week <laughs> to be ready. So, um, you know, most old linemen are as tough as hell, So and he falls in that category. So I know he's going to do everything he can to be on that field again for us. So, uh, again, we'll do everything possible to make that happen. Best results since uh, 20. Uh, Thank you, Jason. Uh, no problem. What's the difference about that team? Um, you know, I, I don't. I obviously I wasn't here in 2012, <laughs> but uh, to, to, I'll say this: you know, there's only one guy in our locker room that was, and that's Christian Matt. You know, so uh, you know, I just think you know we have a lot of characteristics that, that good teams have. I mean, we have a great group of guys that again work extremely hard. They get along together well. You, you mean people have talked about our culture all year about how tight we are as a group. That's coaching staff, organization, players, and generally when you you know you have success on the field that carries over to a lot of things. But you know we've had some adversity we face, and guys are still stuck together. And so to win 11 games is huge. You know what makes it different than any other. 11 win team I don't know but that's a special group in there I know that and, and I'm very proud to be a part of it um, you know and again it's not necessarily the 11 wins I'm proud of it's the way those guys have worked all sing all year that I'm proud of so just to add upon that the addition of Lemon and Sankey uh, within the middle of the year was there a factor of them for the leadership instead of the locker room and the players I'll say this yes I mean th th those are proven CFL veterans that came into our locker room but they're the Right kind of guys, you know. They, you know, they're they're about the team. They're they're about working hard. They're they, they jive with a lot of our culture and uh, of what we're about. Um, and you know, with their success. You know, what again, you guys don't see as much as we do as coaches is what they are like in our locker room, what they are like, you know, as a voice um, and the, the hard work that they bring every single day. So, you know, they've been a, a welcome addition to our team, um, you know, and a fit in, you know, for guys that weren't here at the beginning where we built a lot of that camaraderie, you know, for guys to come in mid-year, it's sometimes hard for them to fit in and those guys fit in right away. And so uh, it's been it's been a joy to have both of those guys on our team and they've made us better.